Well, you're lucky because you were able to run the upgrade back to back. Does it excite you? Um, not as much as what I would dream of, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think we expected a lot of it. We expected a, a small step and um, it's still too early to say, like I've just driven it and, and things feel different. Some things a little bit better and, and some things we still got to just optimize and, and figure out. Um, but yeah, reasonable. I think um, Daniel had it this morning for, for FP1. So he's understood it a little bit more. I think for me, I still got to figure out a little bit how to drive the car because it is a little bit different in that regard. Can um, you explain what that difference is? No. What does it feel like? Not a bit to, to the sort of, you know, everyday girl, man. What, um, it's, what it feels like? Uh, just different. Okay, um, but harder, trickier. No, I wouldn't say trickier. It's just, just the, the slight feeling you get behind the wheel, you know, you're so sensitive to... Or you get so used to things. As soon as something feels just a little bit off, you have to figure out why that's happening, what it's doing, um, what the reasoning is for it, and, and then how to overcome it and maximize it again. So it's nothing like, say, good or bad. It's just um, the limit, limitation of the car is just in different places through the corner, and therefore you just got to adapt yourself to that. So I guess I'm playing a little bit of, of catch up and just trying to understand all of that, um, comparing to, to Daniel, but at the same time, um, it's been good, we've been able to compare data easily today because we, we chose that strategy of me not having it, him having it. And uh, therefore, we can look at the data tonight and extract more performance for tomorrow. We thought we spied a little bit of porpoising. Did it feel like that? A little bit. A oh, lot. I felt like I had a, a decent lot. amount. Okay, okay. Um, it was doing that. Then. Yeah, but the last few races, we've had quite a bit at times. Silverstone, we had, a, we had a lot as well. So I'm not a surprise, not a, a shock. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's, let's say, it's a kind of a good thing that if we can improve the car, sometimes that promotes uh, porpoising. Um, you know, apart from Red Bull, it seems like it's what Ferrari and Mercedes have had a lot of, and they're obviously a lot quicker than us. So maybe Red Bull nailed it with all of their, their stuff. But um, uh, I think as we're trying to improve the car, sometimes we expose this phenomenon. And um, yeah, it's maybe not a bad thing sometimes. Sometimes it means you're heading in the right direction. So uh, we're trying to understand it. And um, yeah, hopefully we can find out it's a, it's a good thing and not a bad one.